Hey all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. Good job making time for art. Let's get started. So let's gather our supplies. I am so excited for all this yummy goodness that we're gonna work with. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go step by step what's in what's in this box um, that I curated. And if you're watching this and you don't have this box but you have some supplies, then this will give you an idea of what to have around and you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> okay, first of all, we got some paint. And your paint came in this bubble wrap bag. Keep the bag, we're gonna print make with it. Don't throw this away. Okay, we're going to use um, this acrylic paint um, blushing by Dina Wakely and I'll talk a little bit more about why I chose this paint but let's just get all of our paint out so we're going to use blushing gilt which is this beautiful gold metallic aloe and umber we are going to use a brayer or a roller if you want to call it that that's what that looks like we're going to use a mini print tool this is like a comb and it creates a lot of texture and you are going to get a theme card that kind of tells you all your supplies here so you can check off you know make sure you got everything and then we have some prompt cards to get you thinking and some technique cards when we get into specific projects that we'll use for that so put all of our cards here we are going to use a mixed media journal that has this beautiful silk linen paper that really holds up well to just everything you want to throw at it mixed media wise put that there we're going to use some yes paste and you get a little bit in this container here I just have decided that I like to use this big guy here. So that's something you want to pick up. That's a good thing to have around. Um, this is uh, just a water soluble paste is what it is. We're going to print make with some yarn. So if you have some extra scraps of yarn or anything with fun texture like that, you can gather that up. But that's what we're going to use for that from one big happy. And your box came with some tissue paper, even the tissue paper that is wrinkled up, you know, that was packaging. You can smooth that out and use that and have a cool texture. So you want to keep that around. I'm going to stick that over there. We are going to have some collage paper. And I, this time I created two of each. So y'all don't get precious. You got extra to play around with. We got this mountain. We got a doorway with a cool roof texture. We got this car with brick and I just love this color there. We have some fun words to work with. Just lots of yummy collage paper we're gonna use. And we also have um, this shape for outlining stuff. So you can use it with graphite paper to trace a shape onto your journal and we can do some masking. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that. So put that over there. Just got a big pile of stuff here. Um, the jelly plate, this is an eight by 10, which is really nice to have a bigger space to work with. And I'm really excited for us to use that. We got 10 sheets of Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock, which is just extra heavy, super durable, awesome paper. And we've got this black card stock, which is really fun to print on black. And we have this um, Posca pen for journaling, which I love, just nice white. And then we have this stencil that I created specifically for Let's Make Art. And I'm calling it the sampler stencil. It comes in this little bag like this, but I just wanna show you what it looks like on the black so you can see all that shape. Got a little scatter pattern, a bigger dot. I don't know what you call this, but it's awesomeness and um, yeah, some words. So that'll be a lot of fun. So those are all of our supplies that come in the box. And now I'm going to tell you a couple of things that you might wanna keep in handy, keep handy in addition to that. So let me move all this stuff back over here. So many cool things to play with. I'm so excited. Okay, so besides all that stuff, if you have a pair of scissors that you like on hand, get those out. Oop, I dropped my X-Acto knife. But if you have a craft knife, that's great too. You know, scissors or craft knife. Um, I, we may do just the tiniest bit of painting. Most of this is gonna be printmaking, but if you wanna have like a round eight brush or round six brush handy, that's nice. A ruler, if you wanna cut things straight with an X-Acto is nice. A palette knife. Um, I really like using baby wipes to clean my um, jelly plate, but um, you can also use a spray bottle with um, paper towels. And I like having a cutting mat nearby and I'm gonna use it to put my jelly plate on and kind of move things around with that. And it's nice to have a clip for your journal, to keep your pages open. So that's all of our supplies that come in your box and then a few things that I recommend having next to you. Thanks so much for taking the time to create with us. We love to see 
what you made. And we love to share those things in um, a community with people who will support you. So you can share those with us on our Facebook group, Let's Make Art Journals, or on our Instagram using the hashtag Let's Make Art Journals. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.